Hey everybody, this is Josh at Renline, and today we're going to be installing our TRO8 GT3 short shift kit. And this is going to be installed on a 987 Boxster. This is one of our raw aluminum pieces, but all production are going to be anodized black. Let's get started. To do this install, we're going to have to remove this center console to expose the shifter box below. To start, we're going to remove this shifter boot by putting our pry tool in between this piece and the plastic piece. It'll come up just like that. There should be a clip here, here, and here. Once you have the shift boot lift lifted, there's a collar right here that needs to be in the correct position to release the shift knob. This can be kind of tricky, but if you twist it in the right direction, this piece will pull down like this, and then from there, you can just lift the shift knob right off. And then you want to pull the shift boot up and that exposes all the screws. Next, we're going to take the T20 screw that's located right below the cigarette lighter. It's a little indentation in the carpet and behind the carpet is the little screw. There'll be another one on the driver's side, roughly at the same location. Once you remove the carpet panel, there'll be two T20 screws that are located and that will hold the side piece in next to the radio. And do the same on the opposite side. Now that we've removed the three screws from either side, we can pull these panels forward. They should come out fairly easy, exposing more screws underneath. Next, we're going to remove these T20s on either side to remove this tray. Next, we are going to remove this panel to access the screws below. There should be one T20 right there. Next, we're going to open the glove box and peel back the mat inside. Beneath this mat is going to be four T20 screws. Next, we're going to pull this panel forward and out. Next, we're going to remove this piece. What I'm doing is I'm going to reach out all the way down at the end and pull out and up at the same time. This is going to expose the four T20 screws. We should pull this bezel right out. Next, we're going to pull this assembly out to expose the one T20 screw below this tray. Right there. So the last step to remove the center console there are these two screws located back where the cigarette lighter is in the footwell. Removing this passenger and the driver's uh, screw should release the whole center console. For the next step, we're going to remove this center console. If you reach in the passenger side footwell, there is a wiring harness that connects all of the controls on the center console. If you unplug that, you can actually release this whole piece. You're going to want to start from the back and slowly tip up. And this piece should come right out. Just like that. 
Now with the assembly exposed, we are gonna want to release these from the shifter cables. So how to do it is you would push these forward and turn them and they self lock if you turn them, push them far enough. And then you can pull these, these screws right out of the body. Do so on the other side, just like that. And then you can pull these out and you have a release shifter once you remove these four screws. Now that we have the shifter out of the car, we are gonna cut these white clips off. We found that it's easier to cut these clips off than to try to fight and remove them. To do so, get a really good utility blade and just kind of work back and forth and they snap right out, just like that. Continue to do this until these pieces come right out and the shifter becomes free. Now that we have these clips removed, we can pull this piece right out. Do the same to the other side. And on the inside, there's this little pin clip right there. You just take your needle nose pliers and pry and it'll pull and pull this pin right out. This will make this install a lot easier. So now that we've removed both bushings and the pin released on this guy, it takes a little bit of fighting, but you can pull this piece right, right out. Next, we we'll want to pull this ball end off like that. So next, we're going to install the Renline shifter. The Renline shifter comes with an adjustable height for the shift height. So how you set that is you take your screw, you put a little bit of supplied Loctite, thread it in. as well as the other side. It's like so. And how you get the height adjustment is you set it to where you basically want these screws to bite into the part at the same space. So what you wanna do is when you get the adjustable height or right to the right height, you wanna tighten these firmly so these do not come loose just like that this adjustable shifter will shorten the throw 33 percent more than the oem shifter some of the features of the renline shift kit is each individual part has unique roller bearings that are a big upgrade from the plastic bushings there's two roller bearings in each of these that replace this part, and then there's one internal on the shifter. Now we can put this part all together. For the first step, you wanna put this factory piece back in. And you wanna line your hole back up and put your pin back through. Next, we wanna install the handle assembly. And we do that by pushing this receiver up. Like taking it out, it can be kind of difficult to set the part up just right. There, that's in a good position to start. Next, we wanna take our two end bushings with the bearings, line up the notch at the bottom. This is gonna be a tight install. Next, we want to install the front side. There. This shows a smooth operation with the bearings, something you definitely didn't get from the OEM. Next, we're going to want to install our two provided circ clips.
before installing the shift linkage, I see that the, the bushing is a little bit dry. So we're going to apply some grease to make sure we have smooth motion. I'm going to snap it on the bottom of the ball. It can be a little bit difficult. It's a little tricky to get on, but with a little bit of elbow grease, you can push that socket on for a nice secure fit. Back in the car, we're gonna put the base back into place over the four studs. And then we're gonna tighten down the four nuts to firmly secure the shifter in place. All right, for the next step, we wanna make sure we align the cables on these connectors correctly. So, we want to get the shifter in a good neutral position to where the car was previously. We'll put them, the grooves back on and slide these back and cover the grooves. And you're done. The red line shifter is in and it feels great. From there, we're going to want to put the center console back together. We're going to put the trim pieces together we're gonna put the center dash and all your screws back together. We'll finish it with the boot and then the shift knob to finish it off. If you like the part and you wanna check out more, check out the website at runline.com.